Hi guys, this is Wall Tower. A friend of mine wants me to show them how to use the multiband compressor while mastering. So I'm going to show you only the multiband compressor. So this is the chain, the chain that I usually use in my mastering. I put the EQ is the first, then we get the multiband compressor, then we get the maximizer, then we get magneto 2, which is the saturation thingy, and then we have the brick wall limiter. But today I'm going to talk about only the multiband compressor. So the multiband compressor just works like any other compressor. It's just that there are different bands. So we have the lows, the mids, the high mids, and then the highs. So we're going to reset it so that we start at zero. Okay, everything is reset. This is how if you load it in the inserts here, this is what it will look like or something else. It has very many presets always use them wherever you want but remember what it's doing it is compressing different bands and so you're getting like you get a different effect for each of them and what the compressor really does is that it's picking the picks the parts which are going beyond the threshold and bringing them down so when we're using it for mastering we're not going to make it work so hard we just want to make it work just a little bit so that just adds that bit of uh, roundness yeah on the mix yeah, so if your mix, some parts are too loud and some parts are too low, you can use this to help do that. So what we are going to start with, take the thresholds, reset all the thresholds to zero, and then play the music. And as it's playing, we effect each separately depending on what is required. So let's try it out and you see what's happening. So I'm playing a song, uh, one of the songs I'm recording uh, called All Things Are Possible. So if you see, I've started with the laws and as the compressor comes in like this, we just we want it to just start to effect and then we leave it right there. Now I have highlighted the loudest portion of the song and that's the portion that I'm working on mainly. Yeah, because that's the part where the compressor is going to work the most. It will move the impossible. All right, so that is how far we've gone. Now I forgot to activate the EQ. I should have done that while the EQ was activated. So the EQ came in first. This, these are some of the things I did on the EQ, uh, which I won't get into right now. And then the multiband compressor. Let me make it run again with the EQ on and then see if I can make some changes. Then it has this solo band here. I can solo the, this specific band and hear what is going on in here. But I feel like the bass is still very long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the volume of the low end because it's a reggae song. Reggae usually requires high low end. So when you look at this dot at the top here, it increases the volume of that specific band. All right. So let me just play it and increase it. Right now, let me play it before and after so you can hear what the difference is now. I think you can hear that the levels have actually increased a little bit. When you notice the levels have actually increased now i'm seeing like it's clipping so usually when it clips you cut it down by those those decibels that it's clipping so that there's a clip. all 
Okay, that sounds good to me. I hope you have learned something. Please leave me a comment in the section below if you have any questions about multiband compression or anything else around production. Put it in the comment section and I'll try and make a video maybe to explain to you something. Thank you. Bye-bye.